Hey, what's going on, good people? This is Smitty here. Um, just got just got a quick got got a brief announcement and a and a nice point to make here. NBA Elite Eleven is officially going to be delayed. There was a blog posting from uh, Peter Moore. Um, you can check it out on Operation Sports. Um, let me see, and I'm gonna put the link in the video as well. You know, it'll be in the description, so then you can read the you can read the article. But he has officially came out and said that this game will be delayed. It is not ready. They're gonna be work. They're gonna be working on it. More than likely, this game will not be coming out until sometime during next year. So. But in the meantime, where they said they'll be providing, they're going to provide the dynamic DNA and roster updates. Hopefully some gameplay fixes will be in there too. But um, they'll be providing those updates throughout the uh, 2010 uh, season. So, I mean 2010, 2011 uh, NBA season. Um, but the point... And, and and I mean that's all well and dandy, but th the point is this: th this is the main point. The reason why this blog is being posted is because the consumer said, "Yo, this game sucked. We're not gonna buy." It wasn't because of what some editor said or what some reviewer said or some inside guy said. It was because the consumers went out, whether it was on YouTube, IGN, wherever. And straight up shown this game and exposed it for the fraudulent game that it is. And straight said, yo, this game is busted. This game is terrible. I'm not going to buy it. Look at this garbage. And these guys are trying to pass this off as next gen. They're trying to pass this off as the second coming of, of EA Sports Basketball. Like, I don't think so. That game is terrible. Elite had no, they had no business releasing it in the first place. That game should not have came out this year anyway. They should have just built off of NBA Live 10 and, and beefed everything up and kept pressing on and work on Elite in the background. You know what I'm saying? And bring that out in like 2012 or 2013 when it honestly would be a presentable, honest attempt at a basketball game. Like this game is terrible the way it is. And and I know not I know there are many many other people that feel me when I'm saying that. Now you got some people that like it or what have you and everything, and that's your personal choice. But the power of the spoken voice of the spoken consumer that lets you know, and also the fact that you have choice. Because if there was no choice at all, this this blog never would have came out. Peter Moore, it wouldn't, no one would have said anything, and they would have released it, and people would have just been like, man, this is some bull crap, but yet they'll still be lining up outside of GameStop and buying it. You see what I'm saying? That's why, that's why we talk about, to switch gears, talking about the football. When people just stand there and say, yeah, I know the game sucks, but I'm going to buy it anyway, that's why nothing's never going to change. That's why everybody that's posted all kinds of, of messages on their forums and blogs all over the place. People have said things all up and down the road, all over the internet, on YouTube, myself included, and you know the people, you know, Apex and Moody and all the, you know, everyone has put stuff out there. You know what I mean? And when you see that this product is mediocre, but yet people just run up and say, oh, I'm going to buy it anyway. And, oh, I'm going to defend it and all that. But yet they keep putting out the same thing every single year. And everyone gets humbled by that because they're like, yeah, the gameplay is the same and everything else. When you see that happen and you want change to come, they're not going to do it. Because all they're doing is saying, like, well, look at the sales. People still buying it anyway. So as long as people buy, why change? That's why, like I said, the power of the spoken voice is clearly potent. And you're seeing it right here on this NBA Elite. You're seeing it right here. 
Everyone is coming out saying this game's trash. I'm not playing it. I'm going to 2K. You know what I'm saying? Or I'm just going to I'm, I'm buy a used copy of Live 10 and just rock that out for the year. You know, like, it's straight up, it's being, like, the truth is being displayed right there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I just had to put this little bit of information out there. I just had to say that, first of all, I give EA credit that they are actually doing this. You know, I appreciate it. But at the same time, this action is solely because of the consumers. It's not because Peter Moore just saw it and said, oh, this game's terrible. Oh, no, we can't put this out there to the public. No, it's because of the consumer response. It's solely because the consumer put videos out on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Hard Eight Times, man, for that vid he put out there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he came out showcasing. He was on the first to put the vids up. Shout out to him. Shout out to Ronick and Apex and, um, and everyone. You know what I'm saying? Real Rap 215. You know what I mean? Everybody who's been putting videos out there, um, a Avot 23, shout out to him, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Shakedown, shout out to everyone who's been putting up vids, showcasing this game for honestly what it's worth, you know what I'm saying, and honestly speaking the truth about the game, it's not about fanboyism the 2K or anything like that, it's about a quality product being put out, that's what it's about. And it's not that, like, and you cannot sit and tell me that NBA Elite was honestly respecting simulation basketball. It wasn't. That was a complete smack in the face to, to NBA basketball, to true simulation NBA basketball. So, on that note, yo, like I said, I have the link in the article. I mean, I, I have, excuse me, I have the link in the description. By all means, check it out. You know what I'm saying for yourself. I mean, it's not a huge in-depth blog, but it just gives you basically that they announced their delete, they're delaying the game and things of that nature. So, but um, yeah. So, uh, I I'm glad that EA is doing this, but like I said, I honestly believe in my heart, in, in in my heart of hearts, that the only reason why they're making the change is solely because of the consumer. Otherwise, they would have put that garbage out there anyway. You know, so. This is your boy Smitty, and I am signing out. I'll holla at y'all later. Peace out.